Now remember, you don't go to the gym once or twice and get fit. You don't eat healthy for two days and lose all your weight, okay? You have to be patient and you have to put the practice in. So the first thing Master Shah says is before you even attempt to open your spiritual channels or your third eye, in this case, you want to spend at least two weeks building a strong foundation. Because what happened with my wife, my wife's always been tired. And I know now it's because she's always had an active third eye and she had a weak spiritual foundation. When we got introduced to Master Shah, her third eye actually opened dramatically. She saw a lot more positive stuff than she'd ever seen. So what happened was she actually got really tired. And this is because she never had a strong foundation and her third eye was active. Now, the spiritual energy center we want to work with to open the third eye is actually the Kundalini. Uh, the snow mountain in Buddhist terms, golden urn in Taoist terms, Kundalini in yoga terms. And um, it's basically a fist size energy center. Uh, the diagram will explain more. So if you can see this incredible drawing of our man here, here's the navel. If you draw a straight line to the back of the body, split this line into three equal parts, come down 2.5 sun. A sun is the width of your thumb joint, knuckle. It is unique to each person, but it is roughly round about an inch. So come down 2.5 inches. This is the location of the Kundalini and the snow mountain. When we build this, this is the spinal column, this energy center feeds the kidneys and also the brain and third eye. It is also the prenatal energy center which connects with the energy of your parents and the ancestors and holds the essence of their energy. It is key to quality of life and long life. And it is the starting point of the four major meridians, Ren, do, Dai and Chong. Now, the snow mountain area actually when is um, strengthened and developed, it nourishes the kidneys and the brain and the third eye. So this is food for the brain. This is food for the third eye. Um, this is key for quality of life as well. And it is a longevity center. So this is vitally important to build this energy center. So one way to do it is put your hands in a yin yang palm position, left hand, grab your left thumb, wrap it round. We're gonna do this on the back of our body. And when it's there, rested over that energy center, we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna visualize golden light in that area. Now, there's many different mantras that you can chant. Um, for this, we can chant Jo. Uh, jo is number nine in Chinese, and it vibrates uh, that part of the body, the lower part of the body. We can chant Light. You can chant Tao. You can chant anything that's high frequency and vibration. So... Tao Light, Master Shah says, is one of the highest mantras you can chant. You can chant love, peace, harmony. Um, so we we'll apply, apply the four power techniques. So the first one is body power. It's what we're doing. We're putting our yin-yang hat palm position over our snow mountain area. Soul power, dear soul mind body of our kundalini. Um, you have the power to boost yourself boost your energy, stamina, vitality, immunity, and nourish our kidneys and our third eye. 
Hey, um, we love you, honor, and appreciate you. Dear Divine, Tao, and countless spiritual fathers and mothers in heaven and earth, please bless us as appropriate. Hey, please forgive us for any mistakes we've ever made, and we offer our forgiveness to all souls that have ever hurt or harmed us. Hey, um, mind power, visualize golden light in this area, and sound power. We'll chant hey, um, Tao light. Take a deep breath in, keep the spine straight, and you can chant silently or out loud. To do both is yin yang alternation. So when we chant out loud, we're vibrating the bigger spaces in the body. When we chant silently, we're vibrating the smaller spaces in the body. <clears throat> so we'll chant out loud first. Tao lai, 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 tao lai. Tao lai, 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 divine light, divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. You can chant divine love, 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 divine love. When we chant a high frequency and vibration mantra, we raise the frequency and vibration in that area. You can tap with your palms, you can tap that energy center. Anything that's going to stimulate, stimulate energy in that part of the body. We're going to chant Tao light, divine light, whatever you want, we're going to do it silently. Now we say, we close the practice, we say how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, love you, love you, love you. Now this was a very brief practice. Uh, the more you do, the better. There's no time limit on it. And basically, what we're trying to do is very simple. We're trying to bring energy. We're trying to build a strong foundation. You look at any skyscraper, it needs a strong foundation. I love um, what Osho says when he talks about trees raising up to heaven. They have to have deep roots that run deep in the air. If we want to open our spiritual channels, we need to have a strong foundation. It's that simple. Now, anything that stimulates energy in that area and with us visualizing, using mind power to visualize light there, this will really help every aspect of your life. I promise you, if you put the effort in and you actually do this practice every day, even if your spiritual channels, your third eye doesn't open straight away, um, I tell you, you will feel better. At least you'll feel better. Um, so please do the practice. Please feel free to post uh, your experiences, what it's worked for you, any questions you want me to ask, answer. Um, I'm very grateful to be able to share these with you. I thank my teacher for that, Master Shah. Thank you for uh, releasing these teachings to humanity now. I recommend everyone uh, buy a book by Master Shah called Soul Communication. It shows us how to open our spiritual channels because we want to have open spiritual channels. Um, we want to be able to be guided by the soul world. Remember, our spiritual fathers and mothers, whether you, whether you pray to Jesus, Mary, Buddha, uh, Muhammad, whatever, the truth is they see more than we do. So we, we, we need to be in communication with the soul world to get guidance on every aspect of life. And that's basically what Master Shah is teaching us. He's teaching us how to uh, unite 
bring together, meld heaven and earth as one uh, and, and retain us back to be in connection with our, our spirit because we've lost us, we've separated ourselves from spirit. We've lost the soul connection and um, I think how we're living right now is a reflection of that. So I'm very grateful you took the time again to watch this video. I love you all very much and I appreciate you all. So thank you. Bye-bye.